Hello, everybody. Um, I had my surgery two days ago um, on Thursday. Um, I was not expecting this much pain. I knew it was going to be painful. Um, I didn't expect that it would hurt so much to just drink. I guess I expected it would hurt when I would eat. Um, not feeling very well. Um, I haven't really taken any pain meds today because um, I don't really have that kind of pain. I think it's just I still have um, gas from the surgery um, and it's it's going into my shoulder and kind of sharp um, and very uncomfortable when I breathe in um, and very uncomfortable when I drink anything it doesn't matter if it's warm or cold it's uncomfortable doesn't like to go down um, I don't really feel hungry I feel like I'm missing something like I want to eat um, but I, I can't yet. I'm on a liquid diet for two weeks. Um, and oh, if liquid hurts, I can imagine how much food would hurt. Um, I went to the hospital on Thursday. I uh, had to be there at 9 a.m. Um, got there a little before 9 because I wasn't supposed to use the bathroom before going to the hospital. Um, and I had to pee really bad. I, I don't know if anybody's ever gotten up and had to tell themselves, you have to take a shower, but you can't pee when you feel that warm water. Very difficult. So, um, I, me and my fiance got up and, um, we got ready. I got my oldest son off to school and, uh, about eight o'clock we headed to the hospital, even though it's only a 20 minute drive cause I needed to pee. Thank goodness we left early because there was a huge accident um, on the way to the hospital. And it took us almost until 9 o'clock to be able to get to the hospital. So very glad that we decided to leave early. Um, so I um, got to the hospital. They put my band on me, went over to surgery. Um, they actually took me right in. There was other people there that had been waiting earlier. Uh, I guess they take you in based on your insurance and what type of procedure you're having and uh, like what your insurance covers in, in terms of the anesthesiologist because um, they I guess will line you up based on which anesthesiologist you have which is what I was told so um, I went in the back they put me in my gown they gave me my IV they gave me a shot of heparin which is a blood thinner, a 5,000 unit shot of that. And then they um, just started my IV drip and brought my fiance back to sit with me. And uh, we met some really cool people. Um, one of which uh, he said that I can use his name. His name is Michael. Uh, he was there having lap band. Um, met a few other really, really great people there. I got everybody's phone numbers. Um, but we were kind of all lined up. You know, and so uh, when they would come in to grab, you know, when they came in to grab uh, whoever was next, I ended up being next. Um, and they took me to a uh, surgery holding area, I guess, where the anesthesiologist and surgeon come and talk to you. Um, it was about 11.40 when they took me into that room. Um, and then... Um, by noon, I was in the operating room. Um, surgery was very fast. They um, thought that it might take a little bit longer to do mine only because um, I have mesh in my abdomen from having um, several hernia repairs. And uh, they had told my, myself and my fiance both that, you know, usually a sleeve takes about 30 to 40 minutes. But uh, because... Um, I have, you know, scar tissue that he may have to cut out some of those adhesions. My fiance says it was like 30 minutes or less uh, by the time the doctor came out to talk to him and let him know I was in recovery. Everything went really well. Um, so 
uh, waking up sucked. I was expecting to have better drugs. Um, but as soon as I made it known I was not happy, I got a shot. Great. Um, and then, you know, I was in recovery for, I want to say an hour, hour and a half. Uh, I could not wake up. I don't know what kind of anesthesia I had. I could not wake up. I slept pretty much the whole day on Thursday. I was in and out of it. Um, you know, they come in constantly and check your blood pressure and um, bring you ice chips. Ice chips? Oh, could not get those down. I tried to chew them and swallow them in little pieces. I tried to let them melt in my mouth. My stomach wasn't having it on the first day of surgery, but um, by Friday morning, I was feeling a lot better. I um, actually, like at 3 in the morning, got a Toradol shot, and um, I was feeling actually great on Friday morning. I was walking those halls and grabbing other people that, uh, that I saw in there that had had surgery, getting everybody up. Come on, let's go for a walk. They'd come get me, and... So it was nice to have our little bariatric, bariatric family. Um, but uh, I don't, I'm not at a place right now where I can say I don't regret it. Um, I, I know that that's just because I'm in pain. Um, but uh, oh, I'll show you the scars. Oh, this is my IV scar. My whole hand, by the way, is bruised all the way down here um, but here's so I have um, one here and then I've got you know one here one here, one here, and one here. So I have a total of five um, scars. Whoa. Uh, um, they just have a uh, Durabond over them. Um, I was able to take a shower today. It felt great. Um, still trying to make sure I get enough fluids in. It's really, really difficult to drink anything. I have my crystal light here. Um, I did a little bit of broth today. Um, I attempted a jello. I got a quarter of the way through the little container. Um, I haven't mixed any of my protein powder with anything yet because I just don't think that I can handle it, uh, the thickness that it makes the food, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I know this will pass, um, it's all part of the healing process, I, I do know that, I just wasn't prepared for this much discomfort and you know my girlfriend had the sleeve back in September and she's lost 80 pounds and she looks fantastic and I turned to her for a lot of advice and you know my thing was how long am I gonna feel this pain it's 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 a weird sensation but it's a pain too when you drink or or eat anything well drink because I haven't eaten anything um, she pretty much said, um, when you, drinking fluids, it'll last for at least a full week. Um, but when you start eating, it's a couple months. But, you know, if you look at the long term of it, it's only while you're readjusting to food and readjusting to being able to eat once you've done that. Um, The gas sucks. Um, I guess once you've done that, you know, you kind of get back to normal. And I was looking at, you know, the food list. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to be able to eat something because I do feel like I need to eat something. I feel kind of weak. Uh, but there's no way. 
there's no way right now that I could eat anything. Um, so I may try uh, making a really thin protein shake later. Uh, see how I do with that. I don't know if I will or not. Maybe I might wait till tomorrow. I don't know. But I'm going to go take a nap. And I've been talking long enough. So I will make another video in a couple days and let you know how I'm doing. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.